Uh, we're welcoming back our two uh, early 19th century cannons that we've had at the museum since at least 1905, and uh, we're very happy to have them finally back and fully restored to their historically accurate glory. Uh, we've, they've been gone since November 1st. This has actually been almost a year in the making bringing them back, and uh, they were restored by a company called Seed Artillery out of Altoona, Pennsylvania, who is one of the, the major restorers of artillery pieces in the country and actually does a lot of work for the National Park Service and the U.S. government, so we're very happy that they took on our project. Uh, we built the wheels, the carriages, uh, made all the iron work and things like that, and uh, uh, we cleaned the barrels and repainted the barrels to protect them you know, over the years and that. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, we go out, we cut all the all our own lumber, we cut down the trees, uh, mill all the lumber, air dry the lumber and everything. They're all solid, nothing laminated, built right to the ordnance specs. And uh, all the irons and fasteners and everything we hand forward. The weapons are just a rare weapon. I mean, uh, the Bologna foundry was a good old foundry. The first foundry the United States had were actually putting out a quality quality piece. Uh, before that, the old walking sticks are known to blow up on the guys and things like that. And, uh, it was a neat project. I like dealing with the old historical stuff rather than reproducing brand new stuff. So if they could talk, it would be neat. Uh, the cannon stood on the front porch uh, for many years, for decades upon decades, and uh, without them it's it's been different. Uh, it's left us a little hollow in a way, so we're very happy to have them back. 